Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I am going to discuss the practical viva questions. These are expected practical viva questions from two experiments. One experiment based on prism and the other one based on convex lens. Determination of focal length by plotting uv and 1 by u, 1 by v graph. You may be asked the standard definitions like uh, principal focus, optical center or focal length. So factors on which focal length of convex lens depends. Now this is based on the lens makers formula. Uh, from that you can see that uh, the focal length depends on refractive index of the lens, refractive index on the medium, the radius of curvature of the two curved surfaces. Then you may be asked to give what is the lens formula expression for magnification. Okay. And uh, what is the principle for performing this experiment? Now, from what basis you calculate the focal length? Okay, so that you have to explain from on the basis of the graph, UV graph and 1 by U, 1 by V graph. Then they may ask you like uh, if for a particular position of the object, what will be the position of the image and the nature of the image? Then what is the difference between the nature of image formed by convex and concave lens? Okay. What happens when a lens is cut perpendicular to the principal axis? Okay, perpendicular to the principal axis means uh, if uh, this is the lens and this is the principal axis. So if the lens is cut like this, so there is a change in the focal length. So you have to say in that in that terms. Can a virtual image produced by a lens be inverted? So it is not possible. Okay. Then next is a practical applications of convex lens. Okay. So these are few questions based on. Uh, focal length experiment of calculation of focal length of convex lens. Okay. Next is prism to determine the angle of minimum deviation of for a given glass prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation and find the refractive index. Okay. Now, so the basic question they may ask is state the difference between a prism and a glass lab. So a glass lab it uh, deviates light and prism it disperses light and uh, there is also uh, in terms of difference in the shape of the two, the geometry of the two. How does angle of deviation varies with angle of incidence? So that is the relation I plus E is equal to A plus delta from that you can say. Define angle of deviation, refractive index of the medium. Okay. Why angle of incidence should be equal or greater than 35 degree? That is to avoid total internal reflection. Now what are the conditions for minimum deviation? Now at minimum deviation, this angle of incidence and angle of emergence are equal, angle of refraction at, at the first surface and angle of incidence at the second surface are equal and the refracted ray in the prism is parallel to base of the prism. So these are the few conditions for minimum deviations. Interpret the graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. So the shape of the graph is parabolic. So as the angle of incidence increases, angle of deviation decreases, acquires a minimum value and then again it increases. Then definition of refraction, laws of refraction, Snell's law, these things they may ask. Then what is the formula used in the experiment? That is mu is equal to sin a plus delta m by 2 divided by sin a by 2. Now can we use other formula? That is the, you can use the Snell's law mu is equal to sin a by sin r. So you can calculate the angle of incidence on one surface and the angle of refraction and from that find the value of sin i and sin r. From that you can calculate the value of refractive index. What is dispersion? It is a splitting of light. How does deviation depends on refractive index? So delta it is equal to a times mu minus 1. So delta is directly proportional to the refractive index. Does it depend on wavelength of light? Yes, because delta depends on refractive index and refractive index is inversely proportional to wavelength by Cauchy law. So that means deviation is also dependent on refractive index and wavelength. So it is deviation is inversely proportional to wavelength. What is total internal reflection? Then they may ask what are the conditions for total internal reflections? What are the practical applications of total internal reflections? So answer to these you might have studied in your theory also. So these are the two uh, topics based on optics. So I hope uh, you do well in your practical exams. My best wishes. Good luck.